What is up guys, British Gamers 99 here again, and we've not done one in a while, so we thought we'd do for you all a uh, squad builder, and this one, it's a Royce team, it's like a hybrid team, so um, yeah, we've not done one in a while, so we just thought, well, we'll do something different, use this, so here we go. So guys, if you're wanting cheap coins with a reliable service, go and check out FIFA Coin Traders, really good, really, really good prices, look really cheap, and you're guaranteed to get them within like... A really fast time so on with the team and the formation we're going to use as always is 352 uh, 352 and I have to say it's probably my favorite formation uh, you've got players everywhere when you need them if you've got a fast defense and it's brilliant for like countering because you can just push the ball up straight away so yeah on with the team so how who do we have in goal in like goal then so I don't really know how to pronounce this guy so if, if it's wrong sorry but it's like Arta Art oh, there he is um, Arta Moras or something. So we'll just have a quick look at his stats. Oh, there we go. He has got 97 diving. Uh, that's been upgraded. Um, 83 handling, 78 kick, 82 reference. Oh no, wait. Reflexes, sorry. Um, 50 speed and 83 positioning. So he's um, a keeper in uh, the League of Portuguese. He's Brazilian and he's for Benfica. So he's actually a really good keeper. He's made a, some, a lot of great saves. He does have only played two games with him, but I've been playing against my mate Liam, and he's been on top form. If you're watching Liam, you'll know how good he is. He's made like quite a few triple saves, and he's a really good keeper to have. So, on the centre-backs. So who have we got in centre-back then? All right, well, we, of course, we've got the three centre-backs, and what we've gone for is, I think, yep, yeah, we've all gone for the three Bundesliga Defenders, and these three are probably my favourite ones. We've got the tank, Matt Hummels, and we'll pop in there. We've got Hoglenbarge Stuber, I think that's how you say it. Uh, we've put him in the centre. And then we've got the pace machine, Felipe Santana. So we'll just go through the stats now again. Um, for Matt Hummels, we have got 65 pace, 58 shot, um, 75 pass, 68 dribble, 85 defence, 84 head. Um... A quick review on Matt Hummels, he's a great defender to have, he will always stick in his foot no matter who you're coming against, say it be the tank hacking Fenwar, or you're coming against somebody like Gary Twig or Messi or anybody, who he will always try and get in a challenge and 99% of the time he'll, he'll usually win it or at least he'll be very unlucky. Um, and he's a German defender in the Bundesliga and he plays for Brussia Dormant. So on to the second defender. Um, this guy has 67 pace, 55 shot, 74 pass, 56 dribble, 83 defence and 80 head. So Hogan Barge Duber, he's, um, he's German again and he's in the Bundesliga and he plays for Bayern Munich. He's a really good defender. Um, him and Matt Hummels link up really well together, well, because they are both German. But this guy, he's, he's a really good player to have. When you've got corners, he's usually one of them that will go up for them and he'll try and get in ahead. He doesn't have the best heading in the world. There are some like defenders like Chiellini who will be better, but if you have got somebody who can head, then you have got a chance of scoring a corner. So that's uh, that's one good thing with him, and here we are, a beast. Um, this guy has got 81 pace, 48 shot, 52 pass, 51 dribble, 87 defence, which has been upgraded. I'm not sure what from, but it's been upgraded, 80 and 84 head. So, Felipe Santana, the reason these players are upgraded is I'm playing my mate Liam, and I wanted them to really be on top form, so I've upgraded a few. That's the reason for that. And this guy, he's brushy dormant, Bundesliga, and he's a Brazilian defender, and, like, wouldn't you say that the Brazilian defenders, they tend to be really, really good, because you've got Mike on, uh, you've got like Dante, they're all really good defenders, they seem to be, they seem to have a lot of pace. Um, he's got actually quite decent heading. And he's just like the perfect player. Say you've got a, a fast player going up front, you, you might have like an Aguero or a Darren Bent or a Berbatov. Um, and he'll just really, really try and get back there. And sometimes you will you will get the ball and you, you will be saved thanks to him. And he's 4,300 coins, which isn't the most coin for a defender in the world. And he, he is worth it. So if you need coins, or if you need coins, go and check out. Um, the link in the description and if you want him to buy a decent defender go and check out this guy so who do you have in centre defensive mid then so the two CDMs we've gone for is this guy here is an absolute tank on the game he's just like he just bombs the whole field and it's Bastian Schweinsteiger and we've got Tony Cruz I think his first name is let's have a look at him yes here we are Cruz 
He's uh, 7,000 coins, which I'd say that's quite a decent price, actually. Yeah, he's got 52 pace, 82 shot, 85 pass, 83 dribble, 62 defence, and 56 head. Uh, he's German in the Bundesliga, plays for Bayern Munich, a really, really good player to have. I originally um, went for somebody else, who I, can't, I think it was Gundogan, and he, he was okay. I was playing a bit with him, but then I got Cruz, and I was like, wow, this guy is an absolute tank. He's a really, really good player to have, and he's actually got five-star weak foot. So if you're coming in, like, you can put him on either side. Like, if you see here, you've got him on the left and he can still cut in and take a really nice shot. So it's good. And that, that 82 pace and the 85, um, sorry, 82 shot and the 85 pace, they really, really do help with him because he, he does have a decent shot on him. So here we are. I love this guy, Bastian Schweinsteig. And what were his stats, James? He has got 62 pace, 82 shot, 86 pass, 82 dribble, 79 defence and 73 head. So this guy, I, I love him so much. He's German, Bundesliga and Bayern Munich. I think, uh, yeah, that's the same as Cruz. Uh, he's got, he's both on the weak foot and skill moves at three star. And he was th a decent price of 37,000 coins. He's a really, really good player. I'm really, really happy with him. Like When, when you've got the defenders such as Matt Hummels, Giorgio Chiellini, players like that this guy you don't really need such good defenders then because this guy will like quite a lot of the time stop the ball and he'll really really get in there stop them coming through and he has actually got a, like i think he's got a decent shot on him like from different positions in the field he will have a do he will have a go at goal and he, he does have a decent shot so if we got in cam then so in cam we have got lucas podolski i love lucas podolski He's, I'd have to say he's probably one of my favourite CD CAMs on the game with that um, 87 pace. He's just an absolute tank. What are the other stats of Lucas Podolski, James? He's got 87 pace, 87 shot, 68 pass, 80 dribble, 41 defence and si and 67 head. So Lucas Podolski is an absolute tank. That that shot, the pace and everything, he's a really, really good player to have. And 3,400 coins. How can you have a 3,400 coin player who's got 87 pace, 87 shot, and he's got the, some decent stats, and he's really, really cheap, really good player to have, and from what we've seen with him, he's, he's actually been a really good player. Yeah, he has. So, moving on to the next player. Um, who do we have in right mid, then? Now, right mid, we've got this guy, here we are, we've got Blasikowski. Now, this guy is an absolute tank, he, he does really, really well with Felipe with the pace, and... Um, he, he does really, he links up for some reason really well with Bastien Schweinsteiger. So what, what are the stats for um, Blasikowski, James? He has got 93 pace, which is very, very fast. 72 shots, 75 pass, 81 dribble, 57 defence and 57 head. So this guy's right mid, uh, Brushy Dormant, and he's Polish. And he's in the Bundesliga. And Jakob Blasikowski, he's only 5 foot 9, but I just can't believe how cheap play, players are going. Like, if we just have a quick look... Um, out there, 87 pace, 3,400 coins. 93 pace, 2,000 coins. That's crazy. That's just really. It's crazy. Weird. But we have got one player in this which has got a good pace, but he's a bit more. But you'll see him in a sec. So should we move on to the strikers now? Yeah, who have we got in striker then? Right, strikers we've got. We have got Sergio Aguera, who I've upgraded again, and we've got Luis Suarez, who's like the brand new cannibal. Um, so Luis Suarez is stars. Well, he's got 81 pace, 98 shot, which has been upgraded, 74 pass, 89 dribble, 55 defence and 70 head. Uh, he's a striker for Liverpool, lucky him. Um, and he's in the Barclays Premier League and he's Euro um, from Uruguay. He also plays with in the national team with um, Cavani. So they've both got good strikers there. But Luis Suarez, yes, he might bite people, but he is actually a really good player in real life and on the game. He is one of the best players, the strikers on the game, isn't he? Yeah. He is a really, really good striker. So if you want in a decent striker, go and get Luis Suarez. So, yeah. Um, and here we are. Sergio Aguero. What are the stats for Sergio? Well, you've upgraded him so he has 99 pace, <laughs> 84 shot, 73 pass, 91 dribble, 42 defence and 70, 72 head. So Sergio Aguero, really, really good player again. He's uh, Argentinian and he in the national team. He's up there with Messi. So he's up there with the, with the, with the, like, the big daddy of FIFA and football. Uh, he's Barclays Premier League and he's with City. Probably already said that, but anyway, um, Aguero forty-five thousand five hundred coins. You could probably, if you were lucky, probably pick him up for uh, probably about forty k. I just wanted to get him and make this team straight away. 
uh, you can put four star for both of the weak foot and skill moves, and you two games played, two goals, which is it's not too bad. That's like a goal every game. And here we are. Should we move on to the beast of the team? Who this team's around? So who have we got in left mid then? Well, no surprise, guys. By the uh, the title, we have got team of the season Royce. Team of the season Royce he is an absolute tank. I just can't tell you guys how good this guy is. He is an absolute monster. Just before we talk about the stats, look at the go games played and goals. Two games, seven goals. That's mad. And I've been playing against this Liam, and I've been playing against him, and I've taken um, some shots with him, and I've scored, but I don't think they add on. Uh, neither do like the red cards. And there was this one goal which made him leave, and it was really funny because it was like the 88th minute, and he brought his keeper out, and Marco Royce did this like flick or something, and just like bicycle kicked it over the keeper. And it was an absolutely amazing goal. And he told me the next day he smashed his controller against the wall. So yeah, Marco Royce, four star for both of them. What are his amazing stats, James? He's got 95 pace, 93 shot, 87 pass, 93 dribble, 56 defence, and 83 head. Yeah, so this guy, once again, is, has been upgraded, and it's only on the heading. So if you just take away the heading, you've got a 95, a 93, an 87, and a 93. Some really, really high ones. He's an absolute tank. He's a German, and he's um, a brushy dormant, Bundesliga, left mid. Uh, a lot of people will say, why don't you go for Ribery? But personally, Royce, he's got pace, and I, when I've been playing with Ribery, I, I do like him. I just don't feel he's, like, the best player in the world to have. So Royce, we'll just add in a manager. Now Andreas Villas Boas, and so this is the team, guys. We'll just quickly go and add in um, some subs just to get that team rating up. But who would you say in this team you feel is your favourite player, James? Um, probably Suarez because I support Liverpool. Oh yeah. But I'm kind of going towards Voice as well a bit because how good his stats are and everything. Oh, yeah. his, his stats are amazing, guys, and we've we've even called this team Royce team. Because he's just like such a good player, he deserves, the team deserves to be named after him. But these are these are some um, subs, guys. I have been keeping these ones through the past few episodes of Squad Builders, but I've just added Nanny. The only reason is if Royce gets injured, I can pop him on. And they're all just because they're high rated and they're 87 rated. So this is the team, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. A really, really good team to use. They've got pace, they've got strength. You've just got quality shots, decent saves. They're all round good team. So this is the team you should buy if you're wanting a decent, fast team, which is a reliable team to use. So I hope you've enjoyed this squad builder, guys. It's been a team of the season, Royce. If you've got any more squad builders you'd like us to make, pop a comment below. And most of all, guys, we all want you to be safe. See ya. See ya.